Hey everybody, this is a video about Wireshark. Uh, the reason why I make this is because a lot of people are asking me, so what's going on in the background of my uh, computer, all the noise the hard drives make and stuff like that. And uh, most people have a lot of what I call junk on their computer uh, that's slowing them down on um, browsing the internet. So, so this is Wireshark. Just do a Google shot, uh, search. Uh, Wireshark. All right, and this is their website. Uh, there's documentation here for when you ask questions and about if you want to read it. I'm going to click on the download. It comes over here. Uh, I have a 64-bit computer. You can just scroll down and read any of the documentation you want. Uh, make sure you download the right bit for your computer, 64-bit, uh, and the file starts downloading. This is what uh, this is Google Chrome, so I have it downloading here. Google Chrome. I'm going to go to show my downloads. All right, this is my 64-bit. Uh, I'm going to uh, click on that. Uh, my network uh, authorization came up and uh, go next. Uh, I always kind of briefly go through this and I search for keywords like, you know, what's the cost? <laughs> all right. Um, it, I want to install all the tools. Uh, all right. Um, this is a plugin for, uh, for the browsers and stuff. Um, next, I want to uh, put a uh, start menu and uh, look at file extensions and all these are the file extensions that's going to trace all right and then next and that's where it's going to put it um, install win I don't wait win fat version uh, it's currently not installed okay this is uh, uh, th this is something that requires to capture live network data all right so you do want to install it that's not a third party software and you can click on this to see what exactly it is. I'm just going to say install, and it's going to go through and do an install. Don't know how long it's going to take. Okay, it took about two minutes, maybe a minute, uh, two minutes to go get to this port. This is WinCap, and you can move this to find out exactly where we're at on this. Uh, next, I agree. Okay, automatically start when Windows when uh, at boot time. Uh, that's up to you if you want that to happen. I know how to go through and stop that from booting up, but I'll leave it for now. And uh, it goes through an install and finish, and now it's doing the rest of the install here. Alright, it's complete. Um, finished. I'm not going to run it now. I'm just going to say finished. Uh, we need to find it because this is Windows 8. So uh, I'll show you how to bring it up. Alright, so Windows 8, you want to come over. This is uh, 8.1. Come over to start. I'm going to hit this. Uh, and here it says uh, new apps have been installed. I noticed that. I'm going to type in wire. And wire sharks right there. It's a new app. So I click on that and bring it up. So, alright, this is wire sharks menu uh, settings. Um, you should have your local area connection in here. If you don't, you need to configure it. Um, I've never, uh, it's been a long time since I've had to configure it. There's some older laptops that have had to do that. So you have nothing really to worry about. Um, here's capture options and here's interface list. I want to show you some stuff. This is Windows 8. Now Windows 8 has all these tiles. We'll come back over here. All these tiles are being updated all the time. Stuff's coming in over the network, updating everything. So, so um, uh, we want to go ahead and start. Watch what happens. Up here is your, you can drag this down to see exactly what's going on. I look for anything that's red. That's really, uh, really bad. That's coming now. If you put uh, programs on here, like some of the weather bug things, and uh, you, you have things that's always looking for stuff, um, that's what you need to really pay attention. Is all the advertisements. Now, I'm going to try and uh, put this over here, and I'm going to bring Google up. All right, I want to bring Google over here. Now you can see this. You can see what's going on. Throw that on that side. Throw this on this side. You can see what's going on here. All right, since uh, it's scrolling up, so it's, the new stuff's down here. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. All right, so now things are happening. What's happening here is not automatically scrolling, but that's okay. I want to show you the red. I saw red. That's all right. See that, uh, the red that scrolled up, scrolled by right there? That's that advertisement right there. It's an ad. So if I put ad blocker on, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, trigger my ad blocker. All right. So, um, come in here to settings. 
my uh, extensions. I'm going to enable my ad blocker. All right, ad blocker is on now. And I'm going to refresh this page. Now I'm going to bring this down here. And I'm going to refresh. All right, so ad blocker stop one right there, and the red did not show up. All right, so stopping junk from coming down in the internet. Now ad blocker is good to a point. Okay, I don't like ad blocker all the time, but it's good to a point. There's only one, I saw one red down there. So this thing will keep accumulating right there. Now I want to show you something else. Okay, I'm going to close this browser down. We're going to take this IP address right there. All right, I'm going to write it down. If I find a pin, piece of paper. Okay, that is uh, 192.168.1.1. It's going out to 74.125.228.79. The ones uh, the the 192.168 might be my router. Okay, that's a generic thing. So I'm going to bring up my browser again. I'm not really worried about what happens to Google Chrome. Uh, all right, I'm going to type in up on top 192.168.2. See what that comes up to. Oops, couldn't, uh, couldn't find it. That's fine. I want to see what 74.125.22. Now, that, that other IP address might be just a, um, a, a, hopping, it's a hopping address. Now, this is Google. All right? So that address right there is Google. So that's how you can find out where all the, all the stuff is coming from. All right, that's in, in here. Now, since I've done that, this is what's going on. And that red is probably the same place. So that red is actually Google.com, which to me is safe. All right, so that now you know that uh, the 7-9 at the end of that is safe to do. Now, if you have a whole bunch of red in here, you need to find out what's going on on your computer that's causing all this going through. If you have pop-ups, if you have malware, something like that so it's just some uh, good idea on this I, I do not want to save this data so when I close this I do not want to save this we need to stop and save cancel stop without saving and stop without saving and we're done hope you like the video subscribe if you want